Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back. Today, we touch on a topic that has been discussed for many moons. So, the only thing you guys have requested from me lately more than a video where I clean up this absolute disaster is an original Amaya Rain review, and as you guys know, I did get her for Christmas, but I've also been using her as a crutch to hold up all these dolls. So, today, we're just gonna totally wreck my entire setup. We're gonna take all these brushes and we're gonna throw them into the sea. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna put them there. And just kinda, why haven't I put you on the shelf yet? Oh, that's right, because I put Crystal there. Um, damn. Um, um, I still need to get rid of you. Um, where do you go? That's not gonna last for long. There we go. I have so many videos I'm going to be able to make. I can fix up all of these. I can review some of these and... Gotta review her. There we go. We got her here. I promise a cleaning up video is coming because I can't stand looking at all this anymore. I just need to find a place to put the brats. Because there's so many of them now. Seriously, how did I get so many so quickly? Yeah, Amaya definitely doesn't fit in there. So we're just going to look at her box right here. So this is the hair playset version of Amaya, aka her basic look that we've been seeing in the show recently. And by seeing in the show recently, I mean in the last two episodes. Yeah, Bella got kicked out and Amaya's her replacement. Y'all told me her hair was gonna be um hellish, so not looking forward to that. You guys also warned me about the red color, told me that it would stain her hair, and I don't want that. So we're probably just not gonna use any of these. I'm more concerned with the doll. If I want to in the future, I might make a video where I try to play with her hair a little, but I don't intend to do that in this video. I kind of just want to look at the doll herself and maybe see what quality those things are. But I could save that in another video if this runs too long. So she is one of the only Rainbow High dolls who have a big background on the big, big box art. Big exclusive box white hair. Oh my god. I just scratched my eye with my band-aid. Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, I can see again. So we got color, ombre, and glitter, and more. <gasps> and more? I don't think there's more. I think that's it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Looked at everything on the box. You know, actually, there's like an expiration date down here for all the hair products. Yeah, the hair gel expires in next year. Okay. Everything expires next year. And then there's this if you can't find her for some reason. I think she's pretty easy to find. I didn't struggle to find her. Everybody is down here. Except for her. They just put Violet there twice for some reason. Amaya does not have an art. In this form, at least. So... That brings us to it. We're gonna open the box now. You know, maybe if I threw all those midgets in like a bin somewhere. I have a box for them. I'm gonna put them in a box. Well, when you go, don't have a thing. Come make you try to stay. And maybe when you get back, I'll be off to find another way Then after all the blood that you still love You still look good for nothing, I don't know So fix your eyes and get out Better get out while you can I definitely got all those lyrics wrong, but look at this. We got... I'm gonna actually look at this for once, because you guys are always like, Oh, you're so dumb. Why don't you look at things? I'm looking. 
Got one doll, one Alva, one pair of shoes, one pair of earrings, one doll stand, one chalk applicator, one hairbrush, one four color cream. <laughs> yeah, so we have everything. Whoop de doo. Now let's do a crunch test. <coughs> she smells like Crayola crayons. A lot of y'all always say, why are you always saying the dolls smell so bad? It's probably the product they use in their hair. I don't think it's actually gasoline. It just usually has like a gasoline or Crayola looking smell. But like, don't try and tell me this doesn't look greasy as hell. Cause it is. It is greasy as hell. Why am I touching it? Ew. Okay, we're just gonna, um. Yeah. So I got a little excited and cut the majority of her restraints, but her joints seem a little stiff. It might just be the way she's posed though. Um, she mostly has like thigh restraints, which are my least favorite ones to cut because they're just so, it's just so difficult to get to them, especially like with her boots in the way. God. It took some effort and strange posing, but we got that out, so now we just gotta worry about everything else. I'm afraid I'm gonna decapitate her by mistake. I'm just gonna say right now, I have no idea how to free her from these things. I can't tell how they're attached either. That's like the difficult part. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm getting the crunchity munchities down here. Oh my god, this feels horrendous. Oh, oh, okay, y'all weren't playing that. What the hell? Oh, this feels disgusting. It's so disgustingly hard and like, ugh. She's still pretty, I'm not insulting her, but like, oh my God, why does MGA do this? It's covered, we actually need to cut this part and we gotta start pulling at things from the back because from the front, you're just kind of screwed, so you just gotta like go from the back and just start cutting things and hope it does something. Just hope you're doing good rather than harm. It doesn't matter what you do, just um, don't stop pulling things and looking for tape to rip up because you will find it. There's one right here, I just can't get it. Come on. Come on. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's working, okay? So this Amaya definitely has the worst box hair I've ever seen. Because they decided to display her colors. And it just... <laughs> what do I do? What do I do from here? I managed to pull this thing apart from one of the edges, but that still doesn't solve... Oh my god, it's stuck. It's stuck on me. It's stuck on me! Yeah, this still isn't... What do I do with you? What do I do? Some of y'all have told me to run her hair underwater, so I think I'll just try that. I can't think of anything else. I'm gonna try to get hot water. And now we wait. Okay, so the glue seems to mostly be out, but now the issue is like... Do I brush it? I'll try like a comb or something. I've been like combing it, but she is shedding pretty bad. One of these hairs is mine because it's brown, but you know, mess. It's taken about 10 minutes, but I think I finally got her hair brushing smooth. This is a lot of shedding. Yeah, um, if you get her, be ready for her to shed a lot because I'm still not done, I don't think. I'm still trying to get everything all together, but... Whew, this is definitely a lot of work. It's somewhat working. Her hair is getting a little more brushable now. Look at that. Oh no, I'm just pulling her into the sink. Well, we had to remove her earrings, which I think I might have mentioned. I don't know. But we're just gonna leave her here to dry for the night. That was something. I definitely recommend removing the hair bands holding all the colors, except maybe the tinsel. I left that one because I don't want tinsel all in her hair. But yeah, finally brushed her hair all out. That was a journey. So um, whoever told me that just using normal water on the hair, it does work. It does start to loosen up the glue, though I found using hot tap water works the best. So yeah, that's just my experience though.
For now, though, we can look at these things. They're less important, though, so I'm just gonna rip them out. You know, now that this part goes here, and then the part up here goes there. And there we go. Stand. You know what? This video is actually already running long, so I'm just gonna continue it when, I'm, when Amaya gets back because, you know, I gotta review her. So after about a day of drying, Amaya's hair is, for the most part, all, like, better. I left the tinsel in, which I know is, like, an unpopular, like, decision. Most people would remove that. But it's still all tied off, like it was originally. So I don't mind it too much. Plus, I like to keep my dolls, like, in as, like, stock condition as possible. Her hair still tangles a little every now and then, but it could also have something to do with the fact that I'm brushing her hair while she's laying down. So, yeah. Um, overall, her jacket's a little coarse, too. It's very stiff. I couldn't get her on her stand with this jacket on her, actually. <laughs> like, it is very, um... It's not very, um, stretchy. A little difficult to move her. Can't really bend her arms that much, either. But that's just the jacket. The doll herself is really pretty. She was shedding a lot, though, as you guys saw. Overall, I would say Amaya is a very nice doll. I like her, and I really love her boots. Um, I don't know what variant I got in terms of, like, her dress, because I heard that this stitching can come in, like, different variants. So, no idea. She's a bit difficult to pose due to the jacket, but overall, that's my only complaint. Aside from the obvious, which was the nightmare that was her hair. But just wash her with some hot water, it'll work out. And overall... Yeah, we've covered everything with her. So, in my next video, I might play with the things that came with her, but for now, thank you all so much for watching this review, even though it was just mostly of Amaya herself. But as always, I'm glad you watched my video, and yeah, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!